Hello my dear viewer, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you're watching this video and wherever you may be in the world. Today we are at Wembley where we are going to be doing a new category on Our Planet Diaries which is going to be called Stations to Stadiums. So here we are at Wembley Park and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the, probably the best directions to Wembley Park. We are all the way up here and probably the two main uh, train lines that you can get are the um, Jubilee line and the Metropolitan line. Uh, you can get those both in central London. Uh, connections that I got today uh, for the Jubilee line was uh, Green Park which is pretty central but also you can get it from uh, London Waterloo as well. Anyway. The idea of these videos is basically to give you directions to get to the stadium itself, but this one, as you can imagine, is very, very easy. I picked a very quiet day to do this, but on match days and when events are going on, you can imagine it's pretty crazy. As you can see, we're pretty much almost there. If you'd like to see a video of what it's like on match day or where there's a event going on, just uh, click the link below and you can see the playoff final between Sheffield Wednesday and Hull City and that atmosphere believe me dear viewer is amazing so here we are Wembley Park Station and what we'll do is we'll have a little walk up Wembley walkway and just have a little glimpse of the stadium itself so as I said there's a video below which is which I captured earlier on this year, which is one of my favourite videos on my channel. It was the playoff final between um, Hull City and Sheffield Wednesday and the Wednesday fans and the Hull fans were just absolutely amazing. These stairs were just absolutely flooding with fans and yeah, I really would advise you to have a little look at it dear viewer because it's just an amazing atmosphere. One of the best I've captured. Okay, so as you see, it's all pretty quiet. But let's have a little walk towards the stadium itself. And the sun's come out for us as well. Whenever you're going to an event here, this walkway will be just flooded with people. You can barely move sometimes. You'll have hot dog stands, burger stands, places that you can get programs. There's merchandise usually over there where you can get hats and scarves and flags and what have you. But I thought it would be just a nice day just to choose. Just so you know where you're going. As you see, we've got Wembley Park over that way. God, that is quite a bright sunlight. Hopefully it's not distracting. You're viewing too much. But yeah, I've been doing, um, focusing on crowds and atmospheres for quite a while now. 
and the idea is um, on the videos that I do is basically a were you here today and can you spot yourself people think I'm a bit crazy for doing it at the time but very often we don't appreciate things in the time it's always hindsight we look back on things maybe we value certain relationships when they're not part of us anymore or we live in a certain area which meant an awful lot but maybe we just didn't pay attention to it at the time like at the moment I'm spending um, I'm spending I'm spending as much time with my dad as I possibly can I left home at 16 so it's you know, the short and spare time that we get together now is pretty rare he lives hundreds of miles away but sometimes you wonder to yourself what's more important the quantity of time with a person or the quality of time with a person I was very fortunate, fortunate enough to go and see a, um, a couple of events at the old, the old Wembley Stadium, which was um, demolished in I think the year 2000. I went to go and see a Zoo TV tour with the band U2 in '93, Pop Mart tour U2 in '97, and I saw. A community shield or a charity shield as it was, was it as it was known then Liverpool against Everton Liverpool just won the double that year in 1986 under Kenny Dalglish and I saw Ian Rush score at Wembley <laughs> yeah. somebody is shouting an awful lot there <laughs> I don't know whether they're singing a song or not. Right. Once again, I hope that's this. I hope the sun isn't getting too much in your eyes as you're watching this, because it's certainly getting in my eyes. Just so you can see over there, dear viewer, there is Wembley Arena as well, uh, where there's a lot of concerts go on there. A lot more concerts go on at the O2 these days, but um, there's still a lot going on. Tours, stand-ups, there's still a lot of events that are going on there. I'm trying my best not to focus on this five-a-side game of football. Come on guys, give us a goal. Oh, 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 almost. 
Okay, right, so. As you can see, Wembley Stadium. Obviously we don't have enough time to go right round the stadium and do like a little walk around, but I'm sure you kind of get the gist of it already. It's pretty awesome. Lots of hotels around. Uh, there's a cinema over there, like lots and lots of shops, loads of shops. But um, yeah, so I hope you got a bit of an idea of how to get to Wembley Stadium. Okay, so, until next time, you be safe, take no nonsense, only love what loves you back. And from stations to stadiums, I'll see you soon.